Okay, so welcome to Project's uh, webinar, 2020, July 8th, okay. So this is... Uh, very brilliant day today. We see the gold breaks all time high, okay, and I, I think uh, we have been keep buying gold since here, okay, since uh, 1462, okay. And I mentioned that gold has made this uh, bullish wave, okay, it breaks the structure, okay, and then it forms a, a triangle, right? And the triangle, we buy the breakouts with this rally, and then we wait for another breakout here, okay, we bought the gold again, and now you can see the gold makes all time high, okay? So this is a very, very bullish move for the gold, and the reason, okay, I want to um, explain it. Okay, the reason will be still, okay, the coronavirus, the COVID, right, the coronavirus is, is a key driver. And also is uh, due to the dollar index, uh, the weakness. Okay, so we have uh, mentioned the dollar, uh, this is the last webinar, do you remember? I said the dollar will form the bearish continuation pattern and you can see the, you can see this chart uh, this is really a very bearish move, okay? This inside bar breaks down, tells you there's momentum is going down. So, okay, uh, with this uh, background information, I think the dollar index will not, will not be uh, stopped until it reach here, 90, okay? Uh, again. Again, let me just uh, emphasize again, all this previous support will be violated, okay? This, this one, this one, this one will be violated, okay? Because they are all, uh, we call it non-fresh demand. The, the bullish people already made returns and pushed the money inside this market already. And after this strong, Breakout and then all the way 100% pullback, and now it's below 98. Okay, so this will be a, a very strong bearish wave. Okay, all the way to 91. All right, there's Gary on DXY. Okay, are you talking about this one? Well, I don't uh, suggest to buy the dollar index, okay? Don't buy the dollar, okay? The fundamental is very, very bearish for the dollar. Uh, you can consider this wave as similar in the last part of here, okay? These two parts are very, very similar, okay? If I put the 89 EMA here, what you can find is the exactly the same patterns occurred, okay? So on 2017, May 22nd, okay, the dollar breaks down the 89 EMA and then the bearish crossover happened, okay? And the price failed to come back again and then makes a very strong bearish move. And look left, look left. It's the same pin bar here, okay? And when you compare this with the situation now, it looks very, very similar, okay? There's a pin bar, tells you, yeah, we have support, but the 89 EMA was break down and now the price trying to pull back, but it failed to maintain above. So this wave is highly expected, <laughs> okay? Right? And what I'm talking is a long-term bearish dollar trend, okay? very, very long-term dollar trend. So you'll have to, as trader, okay, it's our job okay, to catch the wave, okay, from the beginning to the end, okay? Don't wait the price uh, until too late, then you realize Oh, this is a bearish trend. Bearish trend is starting. Okay, you have to be very, very sensitive about this uh, trending market. Okay, so if the dollar 
the index really break 95, it will confirm this bearish trend. And it looks very, very bearish now. So we have to expect this bearish move to happen. And it's your job to catch the wave. <clears throat> so what we can do is we can buy the euro. Okay, the euro is really bullish. Okay, it's a cup and handle patterns. Okay, it's still working. Okay, just wait for this uh, neckline to be broken and we just or just fly. We just fly to 1.22. That's similar for the sterling. Okay, the sterling will be uh, breaking this uh, long term trend line. Okay, from all time high to 1.72. Okay, I believe it, this time it will break this trend line. So the starting we will have a very strong move to 1.4 first, and then go back to 1.60. All right, so it's your job to capture this wave. If you miss this wave, you miss a lot of money, and you're not a good trader, because you cannot capture this wave from the beginning to the end. Okay, so sterling is a very strong bullish move to 1.60 all the way in the in the next few years. Okay, now what happened to the Aussie dollar? Okay, Aussie will be the same uh, scenario. Okay, so the all the major pairs will move up. Okay, I think the Aussie will be bullish until 0 0.80. Okay, uh, there's a one strong indicator for the Aussie, which will be the copper. You can see how strong the copper rally. Okay, it forms a very very nice bad patterns here. Okay, okay, it tested the low on on March and now it's 100% uh, reversed. So the copper will have a strong move until like three or 3.6. All right. So if if the copper can move high, uh, I think the Aussie will be benefited from this, okay? Uh, oh, okay. Leo says, uh, the inside bar strategy really, really good. Can you explain what is the psychology behind it? Okay, the psychology of the inside bar is very simple. All right, it's very simple. So you, you have this very strong momentum candle, okay? The mother bar is very strong and followed by our inside bar. Now within this inside bar, the market is still choosing the directions, okay? This is the inside bar, right? So why we want to trade the inside bar breakout? Why? Because after a strong consolidation, oh sorry, after a strong breakout, okay, the market will go into a consolidation area. And when inside bar forms, normally it forms a triangle already, okay? Because the low is, uh, higher than the previous one, the high is lower than the previous one. So this is actually, actually tells you the market is consolidated. So once the consolidation is over and the market choose, pick the direction, it will just break out. And this is actually, you can consider the inside bar as a trend continuation pattern. Okay, if the breaking out direction is the uh, same okay that's the mother bar it's actually a trend continuation pattern okay rally side away another rally okay very very uh, uh rare that we are going to use inside as a reversal pattern but sometimes you can do this uh for example this is a previous uh, structure okay you are already expecting the price to uh, rally from a very strong support. Okay, so this is a background information. And you do see a strong bearish candle comes in here. Okay, it looks like very bearish. Okay, but after that, it forms a green candle. Okay, it forms an inside bar. Okay, and the third candle is very critical because if the bearish can, if the bearish trend can continue, what do we have into the third third candle? My question is, okay, if the bearish trend continue, it will form a inside bar. Which direction, which direction you will pick?
Well, it's down a little up. Yeah, you will see an inside bar breakdown, okay? If the support cannot, you know, hold the price, okay? But what if you didn't see this pattern, but you see a inside bar breaks up instead, okay? What does this tell you? It tells you reverse, correct? It failed to continue the down wave, but it reversed with a bullish candle and engulfed the previous one, okay? So you can choose this inside bar breaks up as a reversal pattern, okay? okay? You only try the inside bar reversal when the price is at a very strong support. You have to use these two together, okay? Do not trade the inside bar reversal alone, okay? If you do, if you do that, you will be um, uh, stopped out many, many times because, okay, 90% of the inside bar we use is to capture the trend continuation. Only like up to 20% or yeah, like 10 to 20% you will use this as a reversal patterns, okay? Try to use the inside bar as a trend continuation, okay? All right, okay, good. So copper uh, has already strong ready and the same with uh, China stocks. And this is uh, what I emphasized last week. And I said uh, that if you have the uh, infrastructure to invest in China e shares or the Hong Kong China A50, right? For the USA stock, we can choose the China concept company like Baidu, like uh, the JD, right, or Alibaba, okay? Yeah, because this is actually a cycle. It's a, it's a, it's a trading with a fundamental cycle and economic cycles. Okay, after, after five years since the last uh, crash, okay, from 2015, okay, dropped from 5,000, now it, re, it all, uh, finally the forms are trying to break out. So I think it will rally to 44,000, 4,400 at least, okay? And you can see the green can is really strong. And uh, if you read the news, you will find out that the, the money is really flow into China market. Yeah, 6,000 points is not a dream, I agree. But I think uh, you will come to 4K first, okay? 4K first, then uh, 4,006, yeah. And eventually we go up to 5,000. So in this, with this background information, uh, I think the Hang Seng index will be benefit. Okay, you can see the Hang Seng index, yeah, weekly weekly guardly pattern already formed. And my target will be twenty nine thousand. Okay, and uh, some 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 share some some company like Xiaomi in the listing in Hong Kong, you can consider to buy. It will really be yeah. See how how splendid. Okay, Xiaomi already raised uh four dollars. Okay. From 12 to 16, if you if you come into my webinar two weeks ago, okay, I said the Xiaomi is have a cup and handle patterns, right? Uh, JD and about the main stock trade from the US? Yes. JD, JD and Spalbar is listed in New York. You can definitely trade, yeah, this too. You can see the money is flying into this, okay? Yeah, six again, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so choose a China concept companies to invest. I can choose those big names like Ababa, okay, Baidu, BIDU, okay, and JD. Okay, JD is good, and also the uh, I think YY is also good. Uh, uh, but if I cannot find it, yeah, yeah, this this one is this one. Joy YY Insurance. Okay, maybe not this one. This is for the stocks, okay? Okay, let's talk about the gold, okay? My target for the gold will be uh, at least, okay, at least 1,840, okay? Will be, yeah, sorry, 28, okay? 28 will have some, some, some selling pressure here, okay? So 1,828, okay? Uh, the, get ready, the gold may have some, may have some correction from there. Uh, and but the forward chart is still a very strong trend. Try not to fight against the wing, and you can use this inside bar strategy. 
Okay, you can use this uh, in one hour chart. You see this is, uh, we have a uh, many inside about this one is really nice, okay? I think I just took the trade of inside about here and I earned about uh, $500 from this inside about move, okay? And you have to you have to make the rules for the, apply the rules, okay? For the inside about, which is, okay, one to one, the RR ratio, okay, close half, okay? Let the other half run. This is the main criteria for the inside bar. So at, as long as the price comes to the one to one reward and risk ratio, okay, close half, okay? Do not be greedy. Do not be, you know, uh, don't just stay there and do nothing, okay? You have to expect the inside bar, the momentum will first give you a one to one first, okay? And then the second one, you can choose to hold, okay? For our pin bar, well, this pin bar doesn't uh, mean anything, okay? The, the moving average is here, okay? The eight, the eight EMA and the 89, 89 EMA is still below the price, okay? It's just, just break out very, uh, very nicely, okay? And there's uh, 30 minutes uh, strong bullish candle. So if this bullish candle cannot be, cannot be engulfed, it's hard for the gold to go back, okay? Now there's a uh, demand, okay? The demand is extremely high higher than the supply okay, so you have to make understand this is happening okay the dollar is weak so people want to buy the gold but not buy the dollar and place order now you have to wait you have to wait uh, i think five minutes charts uh well i think you can you can continue to buy the gold from one eight thousand one hundred okay one eight one eight one one is uh, possible region you can use the 618 as well okay so try to buy the gold from here okay it's actually a, a breakout and a pullback and another ready maybe mr gold bus gonna buy some silver now all right i think silver okay okay to buy silver is yeah silver is definitely okay to buy the silver just a form of v shape right it's a form of v shape here okay and the neckline was break out as well. So we can buy silver, no problem. Uh, yeah, and normally for this V-shape, the silver will rally very, very strong. Yeah, I think the silver is easily to go to like 24. Yeah, after it breaking out this uh, neckline, okay, the neckline is here, the silver may go to uh, 21 and 23. Okay, so you can, can you can expect the, the silver to move to 24. Okay. All right, so let's look at uh, other currencies like dollar Canadian uh, is bearish. Okay, it's bearish. So dollar Canadian also forms a bearish channel. Uh, we want to sell the dollar Canadian here. Okay, it's a bearish trend continuation. Okay, uh, sell all the way to 1.32 and 1.30. The oil. The oil is bullish. Okay, the oil may have another rally. Okay, this is a very strong bullish continuation patterns. Okay, once it breaks out, it will go back to 48, I think, yeah, like 45 first. The oil still have the room, upside room to to go. Okay, this is still above this uh, moving averages and the forward chart. Uh, the support you can see the support is coming very very strong, very stable. Okay, very stable support. Okay, come down, support, 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 and the, the lower is getting higher. Okay, and it's trying to squeeze the squeeze the room for the for the for the <coughs> sellers. So I think after breaking 41, after breaking 41, we should focus on buy the oil. Right, this will be the direction we pick for the oil. Uh, S and P 500. Okay. Uh, yeah, I will suggest to. Uh, use the 3,200 place to sell the S&P, yeah, okay, because last week I told you guys to buy the S&P, okay, and I aimed 3,200, and now it's 3,200, uh, 32,000 is really deep, I see the chance you can, yeah, you can kick in for this seller's trade, okay, you can sell it right now because uh, uh, there's, the neckline is also break out, break down, okay, so, I think the S&P may move down, okay? 
but the China A shares will be okay, right? SMB may not rally. The 3,200 uh, 3, level is very strong. But NASDAQ uh, is still bullish, so don't short NASDAQ because Tesla is very is down. Tesla is so strong, okay? And other technical <coughs> technology company is making very strong move, okay? But the SMP uh, may go back down, okay? <coughs> Nifty, uh, well, I don't look at any Indian stocks. <laughs> yeah, but it, I can do the, do the analysis for you, okay? So weekly chart, yeah, it comes back to the 618 level. It may still ready to this place. So you can consider to uh, buy the buy the Indian stocks in 11504 if there if there is a bullish uh, trend, okay? Because uh, daily chart is just to break new high, so it can best is uh, you can stay above the eight EMA and goes back goes up, okay? <clears throat> Dow Jones, okay? Dow Jones, uh, it's a little bit weak. Okay, the S&P is already coming to here, but Dow Jones failed to cover. So SM, uh, so for the Dow Jones, I think the good way to trade the Dow Jones is wait for the price to break down 25,000 or 27,000. Use this as a structure reference to buy the pullback or sell the pullback, okay? Do not trade the Dow Jones right now, because in the middle. Jack, can you chart Paladin? Okay, why you look at this? Paladin? Mm. Is this one? XPD. Um, wow. <laughs> I, I understand where you're from, okay? You think the gold is gold ready so much with this uh, Paladin is also ready. Are you, are, you, are you referring this? Well, technically speaking, yes. Yeah. It are stays above 1831 and now it's 1944. Okay. It may ready to go back to 2K or 24K. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, logical. You can trade this. Yeah. Looks, looks bullish. HSBC, okay. Um, Hong Kong or or NYC? Hong Kong, okay. HSBC have some problem. Yeah, you know this uh, Huawei's Mo Wan Zhou's case. So well, if the if the stocks have this uh, bearish news, right, the best way is to stay away. Stay away, stay away, do not buy. <laughs> yeah, they sell away Huawei, no Chinese will trust them. I agree with James, hi James. Did you earn a lot from the recent rally of the China HS? Yeah. I go for this uh, 600, sorry, 601788. Yeah, this, is my, this is my best star of my trading last week. I bought from here, 23. Now it's 27. Just a two, you know, two, two tranches of ready. Okay, no time to sleep. Yeah, <laughs> it's really strong. Okay, so hold hold the securities firms shares. Okay, you can choose the Everbright. You can choose uh, China City. Okay, China City is also good. Check your what? X I A C Y. Really? What's that? Oh, yeah. Xiaomi, yes. Xiaomi is good. Doing fine. Perfect. Xiaomi is really good. Boom. Yeah. Okay. So I think the. The world will have a very strong bearish move of dollar index. Okay, I cannot say too too far, but uh, yeah, get ready, get ready. This kind of wave may happen for the dollar index. Okay, so that will be a very strong bearish trend for the dollar. So euro up, sterling up, okay, Aussie up, Kiwi up, yeah, buy the Kiwi as well. 
Kiwi dollar is good. Okay, Kiwi already breaks break this uh, candle. Okay, so you can buy the buy the Kiwi, buy the Kiwi guys and hold it. Don't trade, don't trade cross pairs at this time. Sterling Aussie, right? It, okay, let me ask you if Sterling goes up and Aussie goes up, what will happen to Sterling Aussie? It's hard to style, okay? The Sterling Aussie may rally to like 1.93, okay? But if you have the money, why not? You buy GBPSD and buy all the USD. Okay, you can earn double. You can earn this. You can earn this. But if you trade sterling versus Aussie, okay, you are buying sterling dollar, you are long sterling, and sell all the USD. On the on this uh, on the left hand, your sterling long will will be a good mark, have a good result. But your Aussie shot will give you a negative return. So that's why starting Aussie is not okay to buy. Yeah, cancel each other. And as James says, uh, well, he gives me three stocks. I will pick the middle one, 600406. What's this? Nari Technology. Wow. What's that? Looks like it's technology stock, right? Well, this is a good one. Yeah. Long term consolidation over. Okay. Price trying to, you know, push higher. And neckline is here. Okay. Break 23, it goes to like 27 at least. Great network tech. Okay. Third network tech. Okay, sure. How about the yen pairs? Well, the dollar yen is not moving. Okay, but the Aussie yen is going up. Canadian yen going up. Okay, so buy Canadian yen, Aussie yen, sterling yen. Okay, but don't trade dollar yen. Okay, do not trade dollar yen. Okay, buy Aussie yen, Canadian yen, sterling yen, euro yen. This four will be good. China building a battery substation for electric cars. Oh, okay, okay. What's the company? I have to check the, the Chinese name so I can uh, memorize it. Right. Oh, it's Guo Dian Nan Rui. Okay, Guo Dian Nan Rui. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. 60733, better. Okay. Blue Park New Energy. Wow, that's just so strong. Oh, yeah, this one is better. This one is better. Definitely. Go buy it. Go buy it in like 12 first and 20. Okay, 12 and 20. You can close half when the price reaches to 12 or 13, close or at 20. Not giving chance to enter. Yeah, just to buy it at the market, buy market. Okay, when bullish market comes, you, you have to only one option, just buy the market. Yeah. I, I, I did this uh, for the last two days. Uh, I. I will uh, stay, uh, sorry, stare at the screen, okay. the ATP, okay, yeah, on uh, 9.30 a.m., okay, okay, so, and uh, I will buy, what, I bought uh, the 601788, okay, actively, okay, to the bid price, okay, yeah, to the sale one. I just buy against them. 
Jack, I want a management strategy. You might prompt me there. What is uh, management strategy? What's that? Yeah, Ping An moves up. Yes, correct. Ping An is good. I do not. I do not understand your question. I want a management strategy. I feel my promise there. Uh, what kind of management strategy you're talking? Talking about a risk control or account management, like uh, when to exit. Okay. First of all, first of all, you have to have to set your trading rules. Okay. Okay. You have to uh, basically the rules for. For entry, rules for stop loss, rules for TP1, TP2, okay, and rules for our uh, move stop loss to break even, okay, rules for uh, trading, trading stop, and rules for risk, risk for trade, and so on. Yeah, Semcop industry. What do you think? Oh, Semcorp, you know, James, Semcorp is a sponsor for my, for my scholarship of the US. Yeah. What is the uh, U96? Okay. Hmm. What happened to this? Huge gap. Huge gap, right? Sembawan Corp. Okay. Weekly chart looks like the 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 future is really is brilliant okay but the bearish trend not yet not yet okay so i think i will i will wait for the price to go up to the channel first okay and best it, it can break 2.35 right, i will choose to buy it above 2.35 uh now it looks not so good yeah Jack, do you always go into five minutes or 15 minutes to enter for a forex trade and use the forex setup for the trading plan? Not really. Oh, Tenacic takes stake of Sam Marine. Okay, yeah. The news is there, but uh, the fundamental, I mean, the, the price action looks like the still people are selling it, okay? Because uh, the previous uh, sellers are from here. Right, so key resistance at the two, two dollar, okay. All right, our uh, referral setter, what, what kind of a time frame, right? Use. I will always use daily chart to find location. Use four hour chart to determine trend. Okay. Then I will use four time frame, okay? Below four hour as my entry. Whenever I see them, okay. So daily chart, you have to understand where is the market. Where is it? Okay, is that middle or editor? Yeah, middle, bottom, high. Okay, and the four hour chart determine the trend. It, it is going up from the bottom to up to the top, or it's going down from top to bottom, or at the middle side away, okay? And then you understand which direction you're going to pick, okay? If it is bottom, I will pick the upside. If it's at the top, I will pick the downside. If it is sideway, I will use the trend continuation. I will wait for the consolidation to complete and to trade the directions, okay? Then all the time frame below four hour will just help me to find the entry point. That's it. <clears throat> uh, Bitcoin is okay to buy because uh, the daily chart says uh, the night K is okay. Night K is supported. Yeah, as I mentioned last week. And triangle is going to break down or break up. And today we just have our inside of itself. So you can buy Bitcoin, right? Aim 10K. Oh, trend line is a minimum confirmation. Yeah. Okay. Trend line is minimum confirmation. And uh, bottom patterns like a double bottom, neckline, and price action. You have to combine all the three. Okay. Okay. For example, here. Bitcoin, the trend line is there, right? 
and I have to give you a double bottom as well. And you can see the neckline is here as well. And then what do you find from this price action? Okay, so trend line, double bottom, neckline, plus this uh, inside bar breaks up, and you can capture the wave. Okay, so it's actually a four in one trade. Trend line, double bottom, neckline, price action. And you can buy from here. And it can give you a very strong. <clears throat> okay. All right. Yang Zijiang. All right, good. Look at Yang Zijiang. All right, it's really cheap. 0 0.96 sing dollar per share. <laughs> it's a building, right? Shipbuilding company. Yang Zijiang is a China company. Oh, okay. Wow. Looks like a very. It's similar to the China Shanghai comp composite. Okay. Yeah. I think so. you will be okay to buy. But need some confirmation to break one dollar first. Okay. You can buy it when to, when one dollar is broken. I think the entry will be here. Okay. We need we need a strong candle to break one dollar. And uh, try to buy it. Okay. The target would be one point forty four. Yeah. Billy, what's that? Billy, Billy. Ah, okay. My favorite company. Buy from forty one. Okay. Buy from forty one. The the the. The buyers here. Be okay. really okay to buy. <clears throat> really strong. Okay, so let's look at my screen and where's gold? Okay, gold have some shooting star. Okay, so I think yeah, <clears throat> if you have some uh, long positions, try to yeah take some profit. Okay, take some profit of the gold. Sterling is good to, yeah, sterling going up, just break new high of this pin. It's very nice, okay. Dollar Swiss, weak. Dollar Swiss is a long-term bearish trend starts, okay. Sell the Dollar Swiss. Uh, yeah, Aussie is still strong, Aussie can buy, okay. Can I see your plan of uh, sterling dollar? What plan? Yeah, it's here. I bought from this uh, inside bar breaks up. I bought from here. Stop below this place or below this uh, bullish candle. Okay, and my target will be very long. It will be very long. Okay. Yeah. My target will be at least 1.31 first. Okay. The second target will be like 1.39 be here what do you mean to use steady chart as location location means location yeah for example here the bd bd steady chart okay is at a very high location high middle low right location go high location Uptrend, high location. All right, it's expensive. Okay, and what do you want to do when it's at a reach a high location? And what if it gives you a double top? Can you sell? Of course, because the the downside room is strong. It's very big. If the if the location can uh, turns away the trend. Well, that's not better investing. That's just called the uh, fundamental trade of the starting dollar, right? Yeah, because you look at look at the monthly chart of sterling. So so cheap. As I mentioned, long term, I think you go back to one point five five four, one point six. Yeah. Why not? Why not hold it? Since it can give you so much money. And why not can give you twenty six thousand dollar profit? Why not? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, certain is okay. It, it better than dollar. And I can tell you the pre exit will be a good news for the study. Now, well, compared with this, uh, like uh, 4,000 pips or, or 10,000 pips move, the swapping fee is minimum. Is <laughs> you don't need to care about it. You, you, you don't need to even mention it. I never, I never, I never see this uh, rolling fees. I never take care of, uh, take consideration of them. You can consider them just as a, a very, very minimum charge. Yeah. <clears throat> because you have this leverage, right? I'm using 400, 400 times leverage to buy this one lot, okay? In the real, in the real world, I have to invest 100,000 sterling to to open one lot but i just i just uh, used 2400 us dollar and then i can buy one lot why not i pay some rolling fees why not can we short gold now no no don't short the gold until it gives you some bearish patterns okay there's no bearish pattern right now. You see one hour chart, still strong, still above the eight EMA. 30, 30 minutes above eight EMA. 15 minutes, still above eight EMA. Five minutes, some sideways comes, but 89 EMA supported. Okay, the downside room is very minimum. Okay, don't sell the gold. Daily chart is still a very bullish candle. Can you give us a new Jack 2 with three target? No, I cannot. It's uh, only for the VIP members in China. Yeah. And it's all written by Chinese. You cannot use it. There's no translation. So just use the Jack Master to help you to uh, calculate the loss size. You can you can took three trades at the same time, right? You can still do the same thing. Come on, it's just a, it's, I don't, it's just a, Yeah, it's just a tool. Right? For example, I used the, the this check master here. Okay. I set the max loss at one third of my total risk. And for example, my total risk is two hundred dollar. Okay. I set my max maximum loss at sixty six, uh, sorry, uh like seventy dollar. Okay, so this is my initial trade. Right. Okay, and then I, I just need to use the check master here. Okay, enter, stop loss here. Okay, and I click order. Right, do you understand? Okay. Yeah. Let me just uh, do it again, okay? I have my entry here, my stop loss here, because I have three. I have to enter three trades, right? And if the total three trades will give me a maximum loss of 200. So I choose one of them, each one is 70, okay? And I just order three times, right? One, two, three. Done? Okay, yeah. You can you can just use this simple way to to give you a three trades yeah by doing the settings of the risk of per trade it's very easy all right all right that's all for today thank you all guys thanks for coming and I wish you capture the gold trade okay find pullbacks to buy the gold okay right now the 1804 is uh, good to buy and uh, try to buy their major pairs the dollar is going to be weak yeah still, still holding euro dollar yeah hold it why not you know the euro will go up to 1.22 if you want to be rich buy the euro 
the euro will be fly. You know, flying to 1.22, you have to understand. The bearish move of dollar will push the euro to very, very high. 900 pips, one lot give you 9K profit, right? 10 lots give you 90K profit. <laughs> so calculate your risk, right? And find the good trade to, to give you money. All right, good. Change all currencies to euro? No, I prefer change all currencies to sterling. No problem. Thank you very much. Bye bye. See you next time. And thanks for James for your stock recommending. See you next time.